Hello everyone and welcome back to my Devil May Cry 5 Dante Must Die Air Strength video walkthrough. This is mission 9 and this is with V again. So this mission isn't very tough to Air Strength straight away. Now this is where I was talking about in the last video where I accidentally turned auto on uh, auto hit mode here, auto assist. Because I thought that Dante had to use L3, R3 and then the taunt button but you don't have to do that. It's just L3 and then the taunt button. And you'll do the dance. Now what I'm trying to do here is really style on these three impuses. Now you, can, you don't have to fight these ones if you guys if you don't want to. I'm gonna advise if you're not con if you're not confident in you know doing the dance and you know, but with V should be easy enough to do the dance with since he can still attack technically when he's doing the dance. So you should be able to build up, build up decent rank here. So let's see what my style points are after that. So very trash, not good. Do not do that fight. Because this next fight is big enough that it will get you a bigger average than that fight ever will. But I don't understand why they put 3 impuses there for you to fight. Because you can't build good style with 3 impuses anyway. So you just don't fight then. And what I'm going to try and do here quickly is do the dance again. I Once again I turn auto on. I don't think I get to complete this one though. Because the behemoth is fat, is unusual. Not, not super aggressive but unusually aggressive. And there's nothing I can really do with Shadow or Griffin to stun this guy. I might get it off actually. He's kind of in a bit dopey right now. Which, it, it, if that happens for you, then perfect. And I, yeah, I rested there and got hit down to a bay. Which is a shame, but you know, it, it could have been much worse. You know, I could have been hit by the behemoth. So right now, try and push your stop as fast as possible. Because this behemoth will take a while to beat. And he, can, he will hurt your mistakes badly. He will punish you very badly. So, well, do what you've always been doing, you know, with V. Do whatever combos you like to do. Just try and mix it up a bit. Call Nightmare in. I'm going to call him in here to take care of the payment because the payment with anyone else is just, is not fun. And I just don't get this anime at all. I still don't get this anime. I don't get what the point of it is. You know, I can, I can even with the Judaka, I can see what the, what they were trying to do with the Judaka. Even though I don't like it, but I don't understand what they're doing with the, with the behemoth. It just doesn't seem like you can do anything with it. I'm sure there's ways to parry it and thing. I think I think I get a parry here off in this fight just by motion shadow. Turn nightmare off because he's not really doing too much for me. Nothing keeping the animals alive. And what I'm gonna try to do here is get shadow to do the pincer move. In fact, I'm gonna read my book. Turns the answer Nora did, but I'm kind of scared to go near him because this guy can all of a sudden just decide to turn into a hitbox. And lower your rank. And I need to get style points on this. Because this mission features some pretty tough fights as well. Not the final one. The final one's a piece of piss. It's the uh, Lusatia. Which is the floating good guy. The only the bigger one. He's basically the upgraded Baphomet. That guy is the most dangerous. You'll find in this entire game for V. Because V just cannot interrupt him. And stick to him. As well as you should be able to. And I suppose that's a uh, consideration. That they make for the character. Obviously V can't be strong in every situation. But. If you watch what I've been doing this entire fight. I haven't been doing really anything. Yeah I've taunted and you ever had my book a bit and then I'm taunting again. I'm taunting more than what I, I did when I started as way. Which makes see when you start taunting as way and reading your book it makes this it makes this levels just so much easier. Because you have the time to do whatever you want. But the these problems when he comes up against enemies like this he can't really do anything too like spectacular which is unfortunate. You know he's kinda stuck just with his animals and then he to do his most damage most of the time he has to rely on Nightmare. And Nightmare is a big dumb piece of shit. He will never do anything good for you. But there we go, triple AS, and we'll see what we got there. 8,000 stat points. Now, just judging from the last mission with Nero, do you think I performed worthy of 8,000 stat points just there now? Because I certainly don't. I certainly don't think shit fights like that should be rewarded. And this is a mistake, do not do this fight, because I get lowered down to 7,000 stat points. Because I fight these two goat demons. These two Balthamats. I don't know why I do it. Because it, it was stupid of me. I just wanted to see if you could it would actually be able to you know, be possible. <laughs> to build good rank off these two. And I didn't think it would affect me too much. To be completely honest. Because I, I get up DNS. Like, I don't do bad at this fight at all. So there's SS. I'm going to try and keep it there. But watch. Shadow will not come off this rock. He's stuck. And to get him down here. I've got to go down here and. Oh, the animals are fucking retarded for V. There's no <laughs> real subtlety about how, how, how bad these animals are. How bad they can fuck up your gameplay. 
But you'll see, you'll see my stylish points just drop swiftly. Just for this one fight. And this is where I don't get why, why, what were they thinking of Devil May Cry 5 when they made this, like, <laughs> styling system? It just doesn't work. I've never seen a styling system as bad as this. In this game. And I'm only so angry about it now is because I've come off mission 10. There we are. Lowered by, what? Yep. 900 stash points, 800 stash points. I don't get that at all. I don't understand. And I've just come fresh off mission 10. Basically, and mission 10 is the most cancerous, tumorous arsehole I could fucking imagine. And I've, I'm glad I never have to do it. And I'll never be doing that mission again. For style, anyway, for an S rank. Because I, I think it's a great mission. The fights are fun. And it's not that long of a mission. Which is, you know, unfortunate because this mission is fucking 20 something minutes long. Which is ridiculous for a Devil May Cry mission, I think. I just don't find it interesting. Now, it's got some of the worst fights for me in the game. I like this one because it's two fucking Helgi Dakas. So if you thought one was bad enough of a concert running away and doing nothing but fucking spamming range, then you're going to be in for a treat here with two of them. Running away, doing fuck all. And I believe I decided right now because I need to build style. I don't need it. As long as I get the S rank instead there, I'll be fine. But I want to build I want to build as much style as possible so I don't have to perform well on the uh, Nello Angelo fight because you got to fight two Nello Angelos and the fucking and two Death Scissors as V. And that is an interesting proposition. So I'm going to try and dance here as Nightmare actually does the laser and actually protects me, which is outstanding. I did not believe he would ever do something as useful as that. Just right now, get out of this. Don't don't finish the dance. When you hit triple S, don't finish it because you'll get fucking hit again like I do. That would have been a triple S rank. I could have been executing people with triple S, but no. I don't know why I said not dance at all. I think I might boost up here to triple S still quite quickly, which is all right. But man, that would have been such a style increase, <laughs> which is unfortunate. Though he makes you with mistakes all the time in these games, so I mean, I can't I can't be too harsh on myself. Oh no, I won't because now it's just these two guys left, and all they're gonna do is dodge for the next ten minutes. There we go. Why does every enemy in this game have a fucking backstab or a dodge? Like, I don't understand this. Even fucking Urzen, who has 10 million HP and has a fucking protective crystal, has got a backstab with invincibility frames. I don't get it. And right now, I'm trying to make sure I do the pincer move, but he's not tracking properly, and it's just all going wrong. But look at them. Why would they make this enemy so evasive? I know, I know what they're trying to do. They're trying to make it kind of like a high tier enemy, high tier single target enemy, but they're just not good at all. Yeah, you can parry them and all like that, as and I get that. But maybe what you expect to do is parry them. But when you knock them in the air, all they do is recover and get iframes and kill your animals. So shout has been an all bad. Now this guy was going to summon more people's side. I think I call nightmare. And the way I parry him. Funnily enough, with, uh, with Shadow's Pencer. And they're both Javel Triggers, that's why they're taking such a beating now. Because they just don't die. 10 million fucking HP giving him the annoying anime. There we go, he's finally dead. And funnily enough, these fucking animations, big long lengthy animations, have no iframes. So enjoy that. Shit show. I know like I'm saying being I'm saying like really negative on V and that's because I am. I don't like V at all. I playing this mission, to be honest, was, was what I was dreading for the entire time playing this again. Was playing these V missions and I have to say They are the most unenjoyable part of Del May Cry five and just there I am hurting for stylish points now. Somehow that fight was shit. I I just don't get it at all. I mean, well, 7,000 stash points is enough to die. I could die maybe two or three times and still get the S rank. And in fact, again, once again, I get the auto assist uh, negative on this. The, d the auto assist negative. I'm trying to perform hedgehog at the moment. I'm trying to remember how to do it. But yeah, I get the auto assist uh, negative on this thing, but I still get the S rank. So, whatever, whatever works, works, to be honest with you. If you can get fucking 7,000, 8,000 8, stash points on this mission, but die, maybe you die, maybe, you know, and you need to use like, three continues. You'll be fine. So this fight is where it gets hot. it gets a wee bit, you know, bad with V because V has no aerial tools at all, apart from Griffin. And trying to knock down a hellbot, two hellbots, with fucking Griffin is just not gonna happen. And this fight isn't gonna be one you can build style on either because the second the bats go to low HP, they explode. And don't get me wrong, that can be all well and good. 
And for some reason, fucking Shadow is locked on to Hellbop. And all he wants to do is that move. If the animals were just a wee bit smarter, I wouldn't mind them as much. I would I would actually not mind V as much, but it's just fucking cancer to play as, this guy. And there we go, V's being a dickhead and that teleporting crack line, and just... Jeez. This is, uh, dire. And somehow, that hell bat blown up kills two entrepreneurs, or something. And that hurts my style, average. so... I am just bleeding style, nine times out of ten in this mission. Apart from the Nobody fight, which I do really well on. And the Nello Angelo fight, which is coming up shortly. But the next fight is the Lucia fight, and that fight is the hardest fight in this mission. You will die a lot of that fight if you're not careful. Because V once again has no aerial tools to knock these people down. And he can't get to the enemies quick and he can't target he can't V V's focus relies to target one enemy, he has to rely on his animals. And if again, if you if you know if you played this game, you know his animals don't play ball. So try and knock this guy down as an art form. And once he goes high like this, good fucking luck. And there's two of them running around this room. The best thing I think you can do is just call Nightmare and just sit, sit in the corner. Because they're just going to do this constantly. Now they're knocked out now. But just try and keep them off camera and I'm dancing. Once again to try and uh, get my style average jump. Because I didn't want to do this mission again. <laughs> if you can tell. Because doing these missions again is just a pain in my ass. I'm just not a V player. In fact, I think I actually go. Po I think I gain style points from this mission somehow. I think this fight goes pretty well for me, which is probably the well it's ever done because it's killed me a few times. This was a first attempt, by the way. And I think the main reason it's a first attempt is one, number one, this fight goes really well. And number two, there's a small oversight in the Nello Angelo fight where the Nello Angelos cannot actually get up to where the Hell Scissors spawn. And if you know, if you've played this mission before, that is a huge bonus. And of course, Lucia she hits me off screen, which is very cool. Even though I suppose you could say it's a uh, he started the attack on screen, then he finished it off screen, so it's fair enough, I guess. And watch this laser. This fucking hits me. Like, what? <laughs> How the fuck did that hit, man? You know, if you go back and see it, probably did. But I don't really. I don't know. Fuck this stupid enemy with V. Like V's just not my not my cup of tea at all. There, that, there, I bleed for more style points right there, which is great. I don't know, I don't feel like I'm playing shit in these fights. I don't think I'm playing, like, amazing, but I don't think I'm playing shit enough to constantly get, like, penalized. And this is the, the pretty much the last fight of them. Like, this is the boss battle. Like, like, the three nobodies are a piece of piss. The four, nobody be, no, the four nobodies are a piece of piss compared to these guys. Because at least uh, Nero and Dante have damaging moves that can fucking destroy the Nella Angelo. V has nothing in that. Like, Dante's Distorted Real Impact, Nero's Buster, or what, Shadow's Pincer move that misses 9 times out of 10 because Shadow doesn't track very well. I think you know what I want, uh, what I would pick anyway. So I was actually a bit freaked out here because I thought the Nello Angelos could get up here, I just thought they were slow so you could jump on top of the coffin or something. Or keep them off screen, they wouldn't be that aggressive, but they just can't get up. In fact, well, I knocked him up, I believe. Which isn't good, you know, you want to keep them down there. And you'll see in a bit, once I start doing my taunts and all like that, that they just, they can't do anything about it. But there is a, a point which I make a mistake and knock one of them up here. Which is something you don't want to do, you want to avoid that as much as possible. Because if you knock them up here, they'll stay up there. And then all of a sudden, actually, you know, taunting them and doing the axis, EX provocation and stuff like that is just not going to happen. Right now I'm a triple S and I want to stay on triple S, so I'm trying to manage the fight entirely to keep this triple S because my brain's starting to melt here. And Nightmare does the full power laser to one enemy. <laughs> yeah, my, my brain's melting. I'm trying to do as much as possible here to keep this S rank up. Hit as many enemies as possible. You Griffins like AoE moves, you know. Taunt. I don't think I've been reading the book very much recently. Call Nightmare again. Because I, I wanted a good rank off this fight. I was getting pissed off losing rank. Which I suppose anyone would be. In this game anyway, because this game fucking hates you. That's probably the worst, and I, I'm gonna say now, it's probably the worst styling system of all time in a Devil May Cry game. I know 3 is super strict. Devil May Cry 3 is one of the strictest styles ever. And to get trip double S on those missions, you have to no damage them. And I don't think I'll ever do that, because that's fucking not, that's not the type of player I am in that game. 
So I was a wee bit hasty on wanting to execute this one because B is not invincible and he's executing. And he takes about 20 years to do anything when he's executing for some reason. But they're both down here now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump up 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 here right now actually. Or soon enough. And I'll notice that they can't do anything. And here, if you want, if you don't care about your fuck, if you don't give a shit about this rank, if you've done well throughout the entire mission, read your fucking book. Just read your book. Taunt. Do whatever you want. Because tell you what, these guys don't certainly give a shit about you. Because look how much health I've got. Now that the devil triggered them hard and the block. This guy is just after me. The other guy is more focused on Nightmare. And look at Nightmare missing again. I was trying to focus one to get him down, but I think I think I just gave that up in the end, trying to, and I just started piling them up in the corner. Because your animals will not last very long against other Angelos because they just die too quick. There, he just one shot. He, he one shot Shadow, and that's why also why he's not very good in this difficulty. You just die too quick. And then I realized, oh yeah, they can't get up here. So I'm gonna dance taunt up here. But I thought there was a climbing animation or vaulting animation or something for these guys, but there's not. They're stuck. That's why I was preparing uh, Griffin to shit, you know, shit over them. But no, this didn't happen. So I decided here, dance. Because what are they going to do? They can't stop me. Although if you get hit, as these guys as V without any devil trigger. Sorry, V has no devil triggers. I should say, to actually reduce damage. So if you get hit by these guys, you will get hurt very badly. And this guy might have hit me, so I just I, I decided I wasn't risking it because he will kill me in one hit. And I want to complete that dance because that dance will get you the S rank every time. <laughs> it does look kind of uh, stupid now. I'm looking at it now, but and I spam these dances quite a lot on this on this uh, difficulty because you need that to boost your rank. You just need them. But I'm safe to say I got mission 10 after 10 attempts. And I might be able to help you out a wee bit with that. But mission 10 is going to be purely on you, unfortunately. Because mission 10 is so difficult to stay on. And there's really no help here. I just have to advise you to do whatever whatever you can. And in fact, if you want to use Dr. Faust and no damage to the mission. Just quickly here. Uh, unfortunately, Nightmare knocks this guy up here. And I'm trying to kill him really quick. So I devil trigger a shadow to do more damage, but it's just not happening. Like, look at this. There he goes, he's finally dead. But yeah, mission 10 took me about 7 to 10 attempts. And if you want to use Dr. Faust to no damage it, you know, do shit to the mission and no damage it, then you're, you're, you're welcome to do that. But just be aware, you have to no damage it. Like, on, on later difficulties. And it might be good. I'm doing it on Dante Must Die is just insanely hard, because... There is a, there is one, two, two mandatory fury fights. And again, if you know anything about furies, they will fuck your style so bad. It's unbelievable. And they're so just, and they're, they're not tanky at all, but they can, they can take damage on this difficulty. And I'm really just trying to figure out how to kill this guy, because he's just not taking any damage at all. And I didn't want a devil trigger, because I want to save a devil trigger for the next fight. Fun fact, those Griffin's we thing uh, will we'll track where the enemy is, and that's why it's hitting the ground right now. But he's dead anyway, so that's the end of that fight. Hopefully, I did the well enough to well, you know, get an S rank. Or, boot, yeah, that helped me out quite a lot. So, back up to 6,800. And fun fact here, if you run while Shadow's dead, I didn't realize he was dead, V gets tired and can't run anymore, which is fun and it suits the character, I guess, but it makes it really, really, uh, Annoying to run around with the character until you've got this upgrade from. So we're coming up to the final fight of the mission after 20 fucking minutes, and it is four nobodies, I believe. And if you had, if you manage to get through that last fight and the double dishes, you will have no trouble here, at all. The nobodies are extremely fair and passive, nine times out of ten. I don't have any problems with these enemies. They hit like trucks when they want to, and they can really hurt you badly, but not hard at all. Very fair. So I double trigger immediately because I, I have got them all grouped up and this is ideal for Nightmare to either do the big laser or do a few lasers. And he's doing the lasers which is what I wanted. And he's, he's swinging, you know, he's doing whatever he can. Up to double S, up to triple S. 
Now we just have to keep it. I parry one of them. Just don't know how to do that. Just mash the button, parry. Griffin's not doing anything. I think, I think I'm trying to get him to do the uh, air raid move, but it's not happening. He's doing the lasers. Nightmare is really coming in good clutch on these fights. Like On certain fights, Nightmare will do you good when the enemies are all clustered up. Unfortunately, 9 times out of 10, the enemies fucking dodge in this game, so what can you do? But you can't do anything about that, so whatever. There you go, the Royal Fork. Or not, not the Royal Fork, the air raid. I accidentally paused the game. He's dead. Execute him with triple S. This guy's gonna die hopefully very soon. Do you know I can to keep that S rank up? Execute this guy. And then there's one guy over there who's <laughs> extremely passive for no reason. I don't understand this. Sometimes the enemies just don't do anything. And I thought there was one more nobody after this, but I don't think there is. I think maybe I killed one or maybe Nightmare killed one. There we go. I actually came in double S, and I think that is the uh, best fight of the mission, easily, for a rank. You can do some good rank on that mission. You can get some good rank on this mission, I should say. Yep, up to 7,000, so way past what we need. But clear to use an auto, down to, down to under 6,000, but look at that, still an S rank, so I'll take it. Anyway, guys, thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video, so take care now.